Dear friends, in today's class, we are going to discuss about Lenz Makers formula. We are going to see how the Lenz Makers formula is derived. So, considering a double convex lens, so this is taken as a double convex lens, this is a convex surface and this is a convex surface. And the line now we are drawing is called as principal axis. This line is our principal axis. And this point is called as P. P stands for optical center. And here the medium, the refractive index of the medium is Na. And here also the refractive index of the medium is Na. And refractive index of the lens is Nb. So Na, Na are refractive index of the outer mediums. And NB is the refractive index of the lens itself. Considering an object which is at the position O. O is the position of the object. On incidenting onto the lens, it is going to be incidented at the position A, at the point A. So this is the direction of the incident ray. OA is the incident ray onto the convex surface. Observe this. This surface is called as convex surface. So, while it is going to be incidented on the convex surface, on refraction, it is going towards the principal axis. So, this is where it goes to refract. At the point I dash. Observe guys. Now, we are discussing about the refraction of this point A, which is the convex surface. So, because in this problem, we are going to have two surfaces as the refracting surfaces. One is the convex surface and this one and other is the concave surface, this surface. So, obviously, when this incident ray is going to fall onto the concave surface, it also have the refraction towards the principal axis at the position I. Now, understanding of this concept is much more important. OA is called as the incident ray onto the refracting surface which is A onto the lens. On refraction, it is going to be have the image at the position I dash. But while the incident ray again hitting the concave surface, it is having the actual image at the position A. So, AI is considered as the actual image of this lens and this point is what we call as B. This is A and this is B. This is I and I dash. This I dash is the image of this convex surface. And I is the image of the ultimate lens that is concave surface. So, now try to understand. P is the optical center. The distance between the object and the optical center is what we called as object distance. And the distance between P and I is what we called as the image distance denoted by the symbol V. And P I dash is also considered as the image distance only for the convex surface. So, now we are going to have two surfaces. First, we are going to look at the convex surface. Convex surface. We will have two equations here. One is towards convex and other is towards concave. So, first of all, regarding to the convex surface, you all know that incident ray is going to take this direction and refractor ray is going to have this direction. That's why this direction is called as minus and this one is called as plus according to the sign convention. So, you all know the sign convention last. The direction of the incident ray is taken as positive and opposite to that is called as negative and the distances are always measured from the pole. So, Regarding to the concave, convex surface, this is A, convex surface. Here, object distance is equal to U is equal to OP. OP is called as the object distance which is going to take the negative sign. That's why object distance U is equal to minus OP 
and image distance is equal to v is equal to here which is considered as image i r i dash i dash is considered as the image because this i dash has been formed by the convex surface which is at a that's why p i dash is called as the image distance which is having plus sign and you know this is radius of the curvature 1 and this is radius of the curvature 2 that's why for our convex surface radius of the curvature r is equal to r1 and n1 is equivalent to na because the rays has been entering from a refractive index to b refractive index so n1 is equal to a and n2 is equal to nb n1 is equal to na n2 is equal to nb refractive index of the first medium is na refractive index of the lens is nb from the formula n2 by v minus n1 by u equals to n2 minus n1 by r this is the formula that we are going to use now n2 by v minus n1 by u equals to n2 minus n1 by r we are substituting these values into the formula now try to answer it n2 is r n b by v is the image distance which is p i dash this minus minus n1 is r n a by u is object distance which is minus o p equals to n2 minus n1 is n b minus n a by r is r1 by writing it in a proper order n b by p i dash minus into minus is plus n a by o p which equals to n b minus n a by r1 is considered as equation number one this minus times minus is plus n b by p i dash plus n a by o p equals to n b minus n a by r1 is called as equation number one we will write the equation number one here this is n b by n a p i dash plus n a by o p equals to n b minus n a by r1 is called as equation number 1. This equation is obtained from the convex surface. Now we will go to the concave surface. Listen carefully. concave surface this b is called as concave surface here you have to understand it carefully this o is called as the object while it is going to be incidented on a it is going to have the image i dash now this i dash behaves like an object for the image i understand this this i dash is going to be act as the object for this i. Now, p i dash is considered as the object distance for this concave surface and p i is considered as the image distance for this concave surface. So, now we are going to have the concave surface equation. For this concave surface, what is called as the object distance? Object distance is u equals to p i dash is considered as the object distance because it is not there only we are going to look after this now i dash is considered as the object because it has been formed by the convex surface now you all know p i dash this is plus that's why we are going to have the plus sign here now the image distance equals to v equals to p i is our image which is also having plus sign 
रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर आर इक्वल्स टू आर टू इन दिस केस एंड रिगार्डिंग टू द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्सेस एन वन इज रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट मीडियम व्हिच इज एन बी एंड एन टू इज द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ द सेकंड मीडियम फ्रॉम वेयर द रेस आर गोइंग टू बी रिफ्रैक्टेड व्हिच इज एन ए सो नाउ इट हैज बीन चेंज्ड फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इन द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन एन वन इज इक्वल टू एन ए एंड एन टू इक्वल्स टू एन बी फॉर द कॉन्वेक्स सरफेस But for the concave surface, we are going to have n1 equals to nb and n2 equals to na. Again, we are going to use the same formula we have used in equation number one from n2 by v minus n1 by u equals to n2 minus n1 by r. We are going to substitute these values into the equation. This one, the formula is n2. Where is n2? Our n2 is na by v is the image distance, which is pi. This is minus minus n1. Where is our n1? Nb by u. U is our objective distance, which is equal to pi dash equals to na minus nb. N2 minus n1 by here r is r2. Na by pi minus nb by pi dash equals to na minus nb by r2 is our equation number two. I am going to write this equation number two here. Our equation number two is n a by p i minus n b by p i dash equals to n a minus n b by r two is equation number two. Now we got two equations for both convex surface as well as the concave surface. For the convex surface, the equation is n b by p i dash plus n a by o p equals to n b minus n a by r one. For the concave surface, we got the equation which is here. That is n a by p i minus n b by p i dash equals to n a minus n b by r two. Now we are going to join. Uh, we are going to add the two equations. So you all know about adding equations. Equation has got two parts which are LHS as well as RHS. Adding two equations is nothing but adding both the LHS and both the RHS. Now we are going to add equation number one with equation number two. One plus two. LHS plus LHS equals to RHS plus RHS. Now NB by PI dash plus NA. By OP plus NA by PI minus NB by PI dash equals to RHS plus RHS. NB minus NA by R1 plus NA minus NB by R2. Now we can cancel these two plus and minus. Now I can take N A as common. Now I'll get here as one by O P plus one by P I equals to N B minus N A by R one. I'm just changing the sign here. So the plus I'm going to write minus. I'm going to write it as N B minus N A. By R2, there is no change. Plus into minus is minus, minus minus is plus. Now, N A times one by O P. What is our O P? O P is called as the object distance, and you know object distance is minus in the case. That's why I'm going to write minus U. U is object distance. Plus one by P I is our image distance, which is denoted by the symbol V, which is plus. Here I'm going to take N B minus N A as common. I'll get here one by R one minus one by R two. Now I'm going to divide it with N A on both sides. Now it will become N A over N A minus one by U plus one by V equals to N B minus N A by N A. Times one by R one minus one by R two. Now these two will be cancelled. Now I will get here 
1 by V minus 1 by U equals to NB by NA minus NA by NA will become 1 times 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. You all know from the lens formula, what is our lens formula? Lens formula is 1 by F equals to 1 by V minus 1 by U is called as a lens formula. You all know about the lens formula. 1 by the focal length is equals to 1 by the image distance minus 1 by the object distance which is 1 by F equals to 1 by V minus 1 by U. So, wherever 1 by V minus 1 by U is there, we can substitute that value with 1 by the focal length which is 1 by F equals to this is the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. NB by NA is NBA minus 1 times 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. That's why we can write the lens makers formula as 1 by F equals to NBA is nothing but the refractive index minus 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. This is what we call as the lens makers formula. 1 by the focal length equals to refractive index of that medium minus 1 times 1 by radius of the curvature of the first surface and radius of the curvature of the second curved surface. So, the lens makers formula is 1 by F equals to N minus 1 times 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Hope you understand the concept. Comment it.